Hi, this is Dr. Sandy from A Spoonful of Science, helping you create better body chemistry. In today's video, we'll look at how the bisphosphonates, drugs that are used to treat osteoporosis, interact with your bone crew. Your bones are a lot like the walls of your house. They continuously need to be touched up to keep your bones in tip-top shape. There are a team of renovators working on the bone building project. The first set of guys on the bone crew concentrate on cleaning things up. They are officially known as the osteoclasts and their job is to clean all the grime off the bone in preparation for the other half of the renovating team, the osteoblasts, who paint the primed surface with a fresh coat of bone paint which is made up of calcium plus a whole lot of other goodies. In a normal healthy person, both teams do their job methodically. The osteoclasts give the bones a good rub down, cleaning off the junk, and the osteoblasts then build the bones back up by applying a fresh coat of paint. Bone density, which is a measure of just how thick the bones are, remains pretty stable. but this perfect system can go awry. A big trigger for the trouble is when estrogen leaves, around the time of menopause. The members of the paint crew become a lot less inspired to work hard, particularly the osteoblasts. Other things can also cause bone crew troubles, among them GIT disorders and certain drugs especially drugs that interfere with estrogen and with calcium absorption. So, the more bone is rubbed down than is built. This wear and tear is usually quite gradual, but the end result is lower bone density. When bone density is too low, bones are vulnerable to breaks, and the bone bearer is diagnosed with osteoporosis. A family of drugs known as the bisphosphonates are prescribed to fix the problem. Now you probably won't know them as bisphosphonates. They're marketed as drugs such as Actinel, Aridia, Binova, Didronel, Fosamax, Reclass, Skelet, and Zemita. The way bisphosphonates help is they incapacitate the osteoclasts the guys who were responsible for scraping away the junk in preparation for the fresh coat of paint. When the osteoclasts are unable to do the job, the osteoblasts, the painters, soldier on, painting over the dirty bones. But the trouble is, the paint is going onto a dirty surface. When you paint on a dirty surface, it looks good shortly after the application of the coat of paint, but it doesn't weather well. In a really short time, the painted object looks shabby and dirty because the fresh coat of paint peels off. This is what is happening to bones treated with the bisphosphonates. Initially, the bones are in fabulous shape because they're a whole lot stronger, but over time, the inherent structural weakness causes the bones to snap and they typically snap in really odd places. So using a bisphosphonate for a very long time can mean that the bone is no longer being protected. Instead it is at risk. So how long is a long time? Somewhere between three and five years. What should you do? It is never a good idea to wake up one morning and just stop taking the medicines you have been prescribed. But if you have been taking a bisphosphonate for three or more years, it might be a good idea to have a chat with your doctor to explore your options. Maybe it's time for a drug holiday. No, this is not a holiday sponsored by the drug company to some exotic destination. It's just taking a break from taking the pill. Doing this gives the osteoclast, the cleaners, a chance to clean things up and get rid of all the rough spots. Maybe it's time to try something else. Osteoporosis is 
for keeps. Once your bones have begun disappearing, they're weaker than they should be, and you're going to need to keep an eye on things. Remember, a broken bone can kill, and it often does. That said, taking a bisphosphonate for the rest of your life, the risk-benefit profile shifts, the benefits become very small, and the risks slowly increase. Want to read the science behind this? This journal article is a good place to start. The article crunches the numbers on bisphosphonates and bone breaks. Friends or family taking a bisphosphonate to protect their bones, then share this video. If you just want to know how to create better body chemistry, please visit 7bigspoons.com to learn more. Thanks for watching. This is Dr. Sandy from Spoonful of Science wishing you better body chemistry.